Hello everybody, my name is Achara, and this is Eco Global Survival, day 22 of my community server. We are three weeks in, and we are still going strong. Well, not quite as strong as we were, you know. There's not 20 people online at the time anymore, but but we're still we're still kicking. Um, let's see here. How many active? Still 30 people qualify as active. We're still actually getting new people joined too. So if you're interested in joining the server, um, you still can. Server's going to run for at least five more weeks. Um, I can't guarantee there's going to be people playing for five more weeks, myself included. Um, yeah, I guess I should be upfront about this. I'm probably going to try to arrange the meteor to get shot down next weekend. Um, I will play consistently until then. I will probably still play pretty consistently for like a week or so after that. But past that point, I can't guarantee how much I'm going to be on. I'll definitely log in at least every day check my store and whatnot um but the server itself will run it was planned to run for for two months right and we're three weeks in so it's going to run for another five weeks anyway now that's out of the way we took smelting and advanced smelting last episode and yes i hate this pipe work we will fix it by moving everything um we are paying the environmental price i mean you can just see by the sand this is not what the sand is supposed to look like we had a bunch of dead uh vegetation that we cut down those trees are looking pale right like look how much more green that tree is right we're polluting we are polluting it does happen um but that's fine so yeah so let's talk about this smelting setup so i got it up on my balcony but i want to move it down underneath all of this now the question is how am i going to get down there so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have a ladder here and then goes that way under there but in order to dig out under there, I actually went this way <laughs> just because I could get a truck down here. It'd be easier. So we go down, some nice coal, go down, still got to dig this out, change the ramps a bit. Because if we get to about right, I think it's about five more ahead. I have it written down. 843, 58, 572 is the center of our four stockpiles. So we got to go another three in and then we got to like mine out like a, like a cave, so to speak. Um, and that's where we're going to put our, our smelting and rock crushing equipment um, permanently. Um, Cause yeah, I don't want it on the balcony. Plus I want to expand my workshop that's upstairs. Um, and I'll probably just expand it out. Like I'll expand the balcony out and then expand the rooms out where the balcony used to be. If that makes sense is the plan because my workshop is pretty much full right now and I want to add a second advanced masonry table and a rolling mill and there's just not space for that right I mean there's not physical space and there's not space by the way the game uses space right because I could create some physical space like my repair bench and my workbench could technically go outside once I clear off the balcony right but they don't take up space like they don't count see they don't count as taking up space right so yeah anyway move the smelting area down um expand the workshop i don't know if those things will get finished today but i'm definitely going to work on them today the other thing i'm going to work on today is the tunnel let's talk about the tunnel the tunnel is close to done i probably need about 100 maybe 150 more mortared not mortar to ashlar granite and it'll be done but i want to talk about the walls i want some feedback so i set up some different um looks for the walls here and i want everybody to let me know what they think is best or you know if you want to vote for a couple like rank them that's fine as well so let me know in the comments or on discord or show it at me in game whatever so this here is just the basic blocks right this is basic blocks nothing fancy come over here this is actually chimney blocks Believe it or not, <laughs> that's what a chimney block looks like. And we could do just two. I'm not sure why I put this one down three, because every other example, I only did two blocks. But this one could go down three. All right, so there's chimney blocks. And there's, so we got basic bricks, chimney blocks. Um, this is, um, oh crap, what's this one called? The, this It's this one, the full wall. This is the full wall. So there's, don't. Oh, that's not, it's not a full wall. There. So it looks similar to the basic block, except for this ridge right here. But it does add something, right? Add some emphasis to the brazier. And then here we have just a normal wall. Um, 
it's not fancy, but it's indented. So the brazier is more um, pronounced, I guess you could say. So that's the basic wall. And we got a couple more examples over this way. Wait. Somebody steal my glass? Somebody. Wait, what? No. Oh, somebody moved the pillars. I think. Anyway, <laughs> that's fine. The pillars don't need to be. Actually, this might be better. Anyway, we're talking about the walls right now. So this here is. Let's pick up so I can see. Um, this is brace. This is the brace. It kind of like it's definitely the fanciest. I'm not sure if I love it though. I do like it. And then we got just the angle blocks, just to you know, so you can see the brazier a little more. This is actually fence blocks, right? So as long as you only have two fences, you get these these big. Uh, Oh, somebody's driving by. So as long as you only have two fences next to each other, you get these big blocks. But if you add a third fence, that's when it becomes an actual fence, right? So these are fence blocks. I these aren't my ah, excuse me. These aren't my favorite for sure, but they're definitely interesting. You could definitely use single fence blocks for emphasis at different points. And then I just this is just stairs and then upside down stairs, right? Again, it's mostly just to emphasize the brazier right and that's all the examples i could really find and also keep in mind these blocks here can get replaced with something as well right like we could do probably floor blocks here right which i might i might do i might do that but i gotta decide what i'm doing for the walls first so let me know in the comments um if you have a clear favorite let me know what that is if there's a couple that you like or a couple that you don't like like i said let me know in the comments or on discord or in game or on twitter or i was gonna say facebook i don't have facebook <laughs> anyway just let me know what's going on down here gotta clean this stuff up people i could probably do that i guess i could just sap it into the nether realms anyway let me know i'm gonna go work on clearing out my basement and making some more ashlar granite yeah, we just got to extend out this middle part and the angle blocks, basically. And we need, what, three more rows here? So that's that's 45. Yeah, I probably need, probably need about 120, would be my guess. Maybe I'll just go buy them from Matt. I have been making my own and buying some from Matt. Got lots of roads in stock, folks. Lots of roads in stock. At any rate, I'm going to go work on that basement. I'll be back with an update soon. All right, so I'm just up at Sandman's place. Um, we've showed up his castle before. It's still impressive. It's not any less impressive now, but he's done some work. He's made some additions, most notably moat. I don't even want to know how much work it was to get all this water in here. And he made a uh, patio dining area. And you can just go for a swim. You know, you can, I guess you should swim and then eat, right? Because you're not supposed to eat and then swim. You're supposed to wait for like an hour after eating to swim, right? But this boat is crazy. I don't know if he's planning to go all the way around, but it's the same. Like I said, I don't even want to know how much work he had to do to get all this water up here. Oh, well, here's the source. Here's the water source. Well, and this is the water that he <laughs> ran from <laughs> way over here, right? And all this water comes from way over there. Right, like this water's been on a, a fantastic journey. Um, I guess is what I'm trying to say, but and yeah, this castle's uh, I'm just impressed, Sam. Man, oh, what is this secret passageway? Where does this lead? Oh, nowhere. <laughs> That's disappointing. Maybe he had to do that just to balance out the water level. Maybe I don't know. At any rate, that's uh. Yeah, hats off. Hats off, Sam, man. <laughs> All right. Time to go home. See if I can find room for my rolling mill. I probably need to expand the old uh, workshop first. And in order to expand the workshop, I kind of need to have my smelting area move down to the basement, I feel. So I'm going to go work on that. And um, actually, you know what? 
There's one other thing I want to look at. Uh, Edible wanted me to check out his smelting area. So I'm going to go ahead that way. And we'll check it out. Alright, so I'm down by uh, Edible's place. That's the road to his place. Uh, oh yeah, we got a new player here. Uh, C. Walsh just planted a starter house. Um, uh, in the interest of transparency, I will mention that this is a real life friend of mine. So treat him well. All right, so let's go. So here's the service road to Edible's uh, smelting area. So we come through here. No, don't, don't, don't rack Luch. Don't hit the walls. Oh, at least the corner's a little wider. Yeah, the corner's not too bad. Come up here. The main highway is above, so that's pretty cool going underneath. Ooh, look at the sandstone pillars. Ooh, a lot of mortar sandstone up in here. This is... This is impressive. Man. This is nice. And I like how it's like a... Not hidden, but it's kind of tucked away, right? Like... And then I assume his iron mine is there. Because this is the desert. This is actually a really good spot. Because you get the desert here. I might have to make a claim in here. Somewhere too, right? Because I... I mean, I have some iron under me under the beach but it's not a great spot i've i've mined a lot of it out already and i don't have a source of copper or gold so i might have to move down here too. do something similar to this this is this is awesome though this is great oh see look copper and iron pipe trick that i was talking about you would not be able to do this if you used strictly iron pipes or strictly copper pipes yeah, see, this, it's so much pipe work, right? When you have multiple blast furnaces and a throttle taste and so. That's why I think it's beneficial to uh, use multiple types of pipes. So there's water right there too. Yeah, I might have to make a claim down here. I have all kinds of claim papers. That's not an issue. Anyway, Edible mentioned that to me, that I should come check it out. And I agree, this is definitely worth checking out. Man, well, yeah, mortar sandstone. I feel like people are sleeping on mortar sandstone. I think it looks pretty good. I kind of I love the windmills attached to, to Ashlar. I said mortar sandstone. I meant Ashlar sandstone. At any rate, I'm going to go back home and uh, work on my own stuff. All right. The tunnel is, well, it's done in so much as all the blocks are here. We still need to, uh, still need to decide on what I'm doing for the walls here. And again, please give me your feedback on that. Whoa, I was going to run over. Whoa, that was close. You can't get run over in this game. <laughs> but yeah, I think it looks pretty good. I'm happy with it. Yeah, I'm, um, this was a worthy pet project for sure. And like I said, we'll, you know, fancy up the walls here with one of these designs. And then it'll be done. Done. And maybe we'll put like framed glass here instead at some point, right? But, and there's a little gap here in the middle if you need to do a UE while you're in the tunnel, just in case. Probably won't, but <laughs> anyway, I've been working on my, I was going to say basement, but it's like my sub basement, I guess. So it is down here. Just going down the ramp and the other ramp. The only problem with this coal deposit too is I can't even mine this coal here because it's technically Lazy Sammy's property. So I've been buying my coal. That's fine. So if you get to about, I think it's right about, right about here is the, the center. Like all four stockpiles are like here, here, here. You know what I mean? Are right above me. I guess turn the map on doesn't really help because the stockpiles are underneath my house um but anyway so i figure about 10 by 10 square well at 8 by 8 is big enough for what i have for smelting equipment e equipment smelting equipment <laughs> right now um but uh, i kind of want to plan for like a throth flotation cell which is like four by four so probably maybe i'll i'll uh gonna mine out a uh 12 by 12 area here and then i still got to put do the pipe work so i'm going to bury the pipes because the whole part of the reason of this whole project is i'm sick of looking at my pipes 
every time I go out to my smelting area on the balcony. And then once the smelting equipment is off the balcony, I can expand my workshop out towards the balcony because it needs to be bigger. Like I did pick up a rolling mill to make uh, flat and corrugated steel and it, it doesn't fit in the room. Like, I mean, I can physically, physically put it in, but it puts the room over its limit for, for stuff. Right. So, which means I can't use anything in there. So I had to take it out. And I'd also kind of like to get an assembly line at some point, but that's a really big machine. So I'm like, I mean, I could put the assembly machine down here technically. I'll figure it out. No, you know what? We'll make room for the assembly machine up top. The house will have to change, but I mean, the house doesn't really matter at this point. The house, the XP bonus for the house is not really relevant. I highly doubt I'm going to unlock a sixth skill. I mean, I might. It is possible. Never say never, but I'm not planning on it. And my advanced masonry is almost level seven. And once I hit that, XP bonus does nothing for me, right? So, anyway. That's where we're at right now. I'm going to continue to work on this. Try to keep Ashlar in stock. Try to keep roads in stock. And uh, go from there. All right. little little break from digging. Digging. I'm going to show off a couple things here, including Awesome Matt's new hunting store. Ashlar limestone, baby, does look good. What are these circle things? I think I know what those are. Yeah. Okay. That looks really good. Man, yeah, I know I like this. And he makes these hunting stand things. I don't know what they're called. They're um, stuffed. Stuffed animals, I guess. If you need to buy those, go, go see Matt. Yeah, sorry, Cass, if you're watching. Uh, we sold your property off because you hadn't been online and Matt brought it. Sorry. <laughs> I'll be honest. If, if you don't log in, if you're not logged in for a week or more, you might lose your property. That's just that's just how it is. All right, and let's uh, ooh, look at the crane there. Look at look at Edible's massive project going. Well, Dean's house, Goody's place, Manny stuff, another Goody. We got Kitty here. But the real thing I want to show off is I haven't been by Jasper and Doctor Old Dakota's spot in quite some time. And it's looking good. More Ashlar limestone. I am I am a fan of Ashlar limestone. And what do we got here? Is this all right? So everybody guess on your own. Is this shale or basalt? That's basalt. Okay. I was gonna say that. I should have guessed. But the shale looks similar, right? Is this also? See, this is shale here, right? And that's basalt. Now, obviously, it's hard to really judge because they're not the same piece. But shale is darker than basalt. And then, I would have thought it'd be the opposite, right? Isn't basalt really dark in the real world? Oh, they have similar, they have similar storage strategy to me. Well, a little more, a little more storage, or a lot more storage. Yeah, that's uh, that's looking good. Oh, what's what do we have here? Oh, they're mine. <laughs> they're mine locked away. Nice. I see. I just want to show this off because we ha I hadn't been by here in a while, and they had uh, done a lot of work on it, as you can see. So I guess I'll go uh, go back to my hole, dig some more out. <laughs> I'll be back with an update on that soon. All right, big news. As you can see, we got street lights down my part of the street. So the thing about the street lights, not only do they look good, the light and everything, but they also transfer power. So if we come here, we can see that we're supplying 20,000 almost power and we're using almost 7,000, right? On this power grid, which goes, goes up um, to here and then down to Punch's place. I'm not sure if it goes this way yet or this way, but... We will get it that way eventually, but for now, I'm just happy it's in front of my house. So the way it works, um, these they spread pretty far. I'm going to test it. So I'm pretty sure I can pull this wind turbine out. And this one will still be part of the grid. Yes. Okay. But if I pull this one out, I don't think 
this stuff way out here will get power. Maybe let's find out. We get, there's only one way to find out, right? Wow. Okay. But it is possibly, it's also being daisy chained by, um, my like jaw crusher up there. Right. So that's good. So I have 14 wind turbines, 10 power poles, which also transfer power, but don't offer light. And I got three light poles. So my goal is I need to put these 14 wind turbines somewhere and then connect them. So generally speaking, you want them to be a somewhat out of the way and B somewhere up high because they generate a bit more power. So I was thinking this hill up here, um, I'm sure, I mean, Dufresne will see them occasionally, but I don't think it'll be like a bother to Dufresne. It might be, but it's, I need somewhere half close, right? So that I don't have to, to daisy chain a, a billion miles, right? But. I want it to be not right on somebody's front step either, right? Oh my God, it's a lot of trees I'm going to have to get rid of up here. I don't don't know if this isn't where I want to be. I want to be over here where it's even higher. Yeah, up here. Here we go. This is where we're going to go right up here. Now I'm going to have to do some landscaping, obviously. Flatten this out. Yeah, this area right here. Here. And then we just daisy chain right down the road. I think is the plan. I apologize to any loggers. I'm just using my min tool to get rid of the trees. <laughs> and we'll flatten out as well. All right, so I don't need to show this. I'm going to, like I said, do a little landscaping here. Get these 14 wind turbines down. And obviously have space for more. Um, the government store is buying wind turbines. If anybody who has electronics is out there listening. Um also buying transmission poles, but not the, the street light poles. I should probably add those to the government store. Um, I will do that after this, unless I forget, which is definitely possible. At any rate, I'm going to uh, do this off camera. No need to record this. And then I'll come back and um, show what I got. And then I will probably uh, work on my smelting area down in the uh, down in the hole again. All right, so I cleared up space. I got all the wind turbines down. They're generating like 1,200 a pop. I mean, you get 1,000 base, but because these are up higher, they're doing more. So we're getting 19,000 just from these. We also have 19,000 back in town. So let's see if we can daisy chain these back to town. So where is the road? Um, let's put this, see if we can put, see if this pole gets them from here. It does, okay. And if we just go this way, we'll be by the road yeah here's the road so does this count does we should also be getting um dufresne's power here as well i would say well let us put a pole like here right here look here's a spot for a pole still only nineteen thousand. why are we not getting i feel like dufresne's should have been added to that. Can I see if Dufresne's getting the power grid? Eh. Well, let's fly up and see. I can't tell unless I put on my bin tool and I cheat. Okay, yeah, he's getting... He's getting the power. Hmm. Why He's getting my power. Why am I not getting his power? I don't know. That's weird. At any rate, <laughs> let's push. Let's see how far we can put this away and see if it if it gets it. I, this feels like it's too far. Yeah, that's too far. All right, so there is there is a, a spot where it's too far, which is good to know. Um. So what about right about here? Oh, we're gonna have to put it on the road a little bit. That's fine. I'll come back later and clear all this out. Move the pole. Oh, wow, even this is too far. What about here? Okay, no, it's... So we must have been at max distance a couple times before. There we go. All right, so we can pick up these two. Boom. Boom. We just got to get up and over my beautiful tunnel, and we'll be in town. 
What are you doing? Hey, rude. Rude bison around here. Oh, that's too far. Hmm. Maybe I should like count it out and see exactly what it is. Ah, uh, that'd be too easy, right? <laughs> that'd be way too easy. Can't have that. All right, so we don't want to block El Tozo's little store. Can't put it there. Well, uh, this works. Is it? No, not close enough though. So we're gonna have to put one like right before El Tozo's driveway. And then, yeah, we'll leave that one there. And then we'll put one right for the tunnel. And then we'll put one on the tunnel. And that should be good. Maybe you might need a couple. 19,000K, but we're not connected to the main town one yet. I feel like that should do it. There we go. 37,914 power being supplied to the town. We have town power, folks. Beautiful. And I will use... <laughs> that used every one of the power poles, though. Um, So, I am going to take these three streetlights and place them in a direction uh, for people who don't have... That aren't connected to the grid yet. And I will continue to try to connect people to the grid as we go. But I'm just going to take a little look, update my smelting area hole, see, uh, give a little update on that, and then uh, that'll be it for this video. A little shorter than normal. No, this is about normal length. So here we are. So it's going to be 12 by 12. It is almost. How, uh, how far are we going here? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it's like 8 by 12 right now. Well... Almost eight by twelve here, so we just gotta. I just gotta finish uh, this last little section, and then uh, I'll be good to start uh, moving the smelting equipment and rock crushing equipment down, and doing the pipe work. Yeah, I guess actually the pipe work will be the big job because the pipes have to go out this way, so I'll have to continue to dig out that way, and I also got to make a different entryway for me because um, I got that hole right. Got that hole right here. I want to be able to drop down this hole and get in here quicker rather than walk all the way around like I did to get down here this time. So it's going to be a lot of work, but that'll be my focus tomorrow. Um, I may work on it a bit off camera tonight if I have time. But right now I'm going to go uh, edit this and upload it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. Um, if you want to join the server, we ha we've had multiple new people join in the last couple days. It is definitely not too late to join. Um, if you want to, go to my Discord. Link's in the description down below. Um, the server name and password is in a pinned message there. If you're not a Discord user and you don't know what the pinned message is, somebody, if I, me or somebody, can uh, give you the password when you get there. At any rate, be good to each other. Have a great day. And I'll see you in the next one.